What's happening guys? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Fred with Raj. Yes, today is another helmet section. A lot of people ask me which helmet do I use for daily use and that's actually the Steelbird. Yes, for my FZ or for my scooter ride or even for my bike ride in the city, I use the SBA. Now the thing is, this is the new version, alright? So this video is going to be a short comparison between the old SBA and the new SBA. And now the SBA2 comes with the shades, yes, uh, sun protection shades. Uh, you can have an option of the front visor to be transparent or either with a tint, completely your choice. So I chose the transparent windshield for night riding and if I am looking for uh, sun protection then I can use this. Now the helmet comes with uh, sun protection glares uh, which is really cool. The only drawback is that it's not completely down, it's a little bit upwards but it's fine if you're using for city ride, it's not a deal breaker. The helmet remains the same. So if I compare both these helmets, they both look alike except for the visor, the inner visor which is now introduced uh, by Steelbird. Yes, it's really cool if people who are looking for this option, they can go for this one and the old one is also available. What I would suggest is why not go for the new one. I'm sure the old one will discontinue in some time. Uh, I am enjoying this helmet is because it's very comfortable. It's easy slip on, slip out. It does come with ISI certification. So that's standard for India. And uh, if you're talking for long rides, I would recommend other helmets. Uh, if you're going at great speeds but if you are in decent speed I think this helmet could do wonders in fact I've used Steelbird even for my whiteout series um, because the speeds were not quite high I'm sure your next question is that can we install Bluetooth device yes you can I have already installed the Bluetooth system which is by ASG you can see it right here I put the speakers they have given a small cavity here where you can install your intercom or your Bluetooth system so that's pretty decent and overall for the price it's quite a decent helmet for your city use and looks really nice uh, not that heavy very easy to carry around or mount it on your backpack which I always do viewing angle is the largest in this helmet and that's why it has a little bubble feel uh, when you talk about the front visor and that's why there are no vents near the chin area uh, there's hardly any space near the chin area to give those vents I've given maximum vents on the top area of a helmet as you can see very clearly so they have given a uh, pretty good flow and they have definitely done the wind tunnel testing on these helmets the outlet is at your rear they have given a very nice uh, octagonish shape behind to let the air pass out so there is enough ventilation inside your helmet yes if you're using this in city it's pretty decent and i'm enjoying it already this helmet was given to me literally three months back and I'm sure by looking at the helmet you can make out that it's been used and abused already. So overall a nice helmet, I'm using it since 3 months. This is more of a comparison. If you've not seen the review, please check my previous uh, video which is at the iBar and you can see the review of this helmet. And Steelbird really rocked it this time, especially giving the visor bit and I'm glad I have it with me. And I hope you guys like this video and if you did, you know what to do, press the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and as usual guys, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj.